In what I think is surprising news, Germany has hit more than 50% renewable energy in the country. That's what it's averaging. That's not a daily record. That's its average. And yet they have committed 2 billion US dollars to nuclear, nuclear fusion. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. And Patreon supporters, thank you so much for what you do. This channel couldn't exist without you. Same goes for our YouTube members who support the channel as well. And YouTube members can watch some of our videos in advance. I'll put some links in the description if you can support us. Even the smallest amount, that is wonderful. Thank you. Nearly two billion US dollars will be invested by the German government on fusion research over the next five years. There's a key reason for this. Fusion is a huge opportunity to solve all of our energy problems, said Research Minister Bettina Stark-Watzinger, a member of the pro-business Free Democrats. She said it was no longer a question of whether fusion will materialize, but rather if Germany will be part of it. And she's talking really not about what Germany has done to this point, to be fair, the only real example of fusion working properly or working in the way it has to to make it commercially economically feasible is the recent breakthrough in the United States where fusion for the first time produced a net energy gain. Generally in the past, we've been able to create these fusion projects and they've worked, but we've put more energy into uh, producing the fusion process than what we get back out of it. So it's been a net loss every time. For the first time though in history, a few months ago, uh, US researchers were able to crack the code by putting in less energy than they actually got back, making fusion, well, actually fusion, making it work. And so therefore Germany saw this and went, well, we want the same thing. We think we can use this. I don't agree. I think it's a fool's errand. I think that... Um, it would be great if we didn't have solar panels at a 30% lower price than what they were 12 months ago. If we didn't have batteries that had come down in price by around 31% over the past nine months alone. Then I think fusion, yes, we should focus on it. But I think Germany here is getting a little confused. Why not stick with what's working, especially now that it's come down in price by so much? Anyhow, what did they have to say about it? Why are they doing this? Well, Germany says that this will strengthen activities already underway at the Institute for Plasma Physics, the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology and the Research Center Ulick until 2028. I think this is possibly politics here, possibly um, investment that could be better spent though on renewables, like I said. The investments were aimed at creating a joint fusion ecosystem with industry to enable a fusion power plant in Germany as soon as possible, said German ministers. The research ministry said that Germany was already in pole position in fusion research and should make better use of this advantage by launching a new funding program. Now, for Germany to claim that they're first and leading the world in nuclear fusion seems to me to be um, a staggering level of arrogance and hubris. They clearly are not leading the world here. To me, I'm absolutely blown away at this claim because there's no factual basis for making it whatsoever. Um, clearly, the United States is leading this. Now, this is not me being some US fan. I'm a, I'm a fan of the United States, of course. And I have to admit, uh, even though I have German ancestry, I'm not a particularly a fan of Germany. But anyway, that's more to do with the history of what the Germans have done over the past hundred years. But the reality is here, let's let's just ignore all that. That's all just neither here nor there. The, tr the reality is here, do, do they have the technology? Does Germany currently have the ability to produce fusion and have a net energy gain? Well, the answer is no, they don't. So how can they possibly say that they're leading the world? I don't know, delusion? Or is there some secret that we don't know about? Maybe. In August, German nuclear fusion startup Marvel Fusion blamed a lack of government support in Europe for its decision to build a fusion facility in the United States. But support for the technology is controversial, with critics warning that the FDP's enthusiastic embrace is wishful thinking, which detracts from immediate steps necessary to fight climate change. In a similar vein to the party's controversial support for synthetic fuels for cars, 
which Germany appears to actually have recently given up on considering they have been campaigning other European countries to join them in their, uh, their desire to be a massive synthetic fuels manufacturer. And every other country outside of Germany just said, no thanks. So German ministers recently went, oh, okay, we get the picture here. Anyhow, the other thing they're focusing on is hydrogen boilers, which is for heating in the name of technology openness or technology freedom. Anyway, Stark Watzinger was widely ridiculed at the end of last year for saying that a German fusion reactor could be connected to the grid in 10 years, a timetable considered unrealistic even by ardent supporters of the technology. Germany switched off its three remaining nuclear fission reactors in April, which split atomic nuclei instead of fusing them. Now, obviously, fission and fusion are two entirely separate processes. So the German research ministry said on the 23rd of June, 2023, that it plans to boost nuclear fusion development. It's fully committed to it. However, I think China, believe it or not, bizarrely, is a really good example of where Germany should focus. Not exactly on China itself, but on what China's doing. China now has enough renewable energy to power every single home in, well, in the entire country. That is enough renewables for 1.35 billion citizens to live purely off that power. Now, of course, China has a long way to go to actually make their business, private sector, manufacturing sector renewable. They're miles away from that. But the fact that they've been able to install enough renewables to make the entire country powered off renewable energy for its citizens alone is an amazing, amazing feat. And the reality here is Germany could do the same thing. They're completely in pole position to do so. Speaking of pole position, one thing holding up renewable energy in Germany, which was on track to be leading in the European Union, is, surprise, surprise, the permitting process. Bureaucracy in Germany is rife. Permits take many, many years. For example, a big airport in Germany took 21 years to be approved and built. And that's one of the biggest things holding up renewables. It's not the fact that we don't have fusion, it's simply bureaucracy. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.